Hey, welcome back friends. So I'm at the Hershey Show here in Pennsylvania and let's have some fun. Let's walk through a $300,000 fifth wheel. So this is the New Horizons Summit 39 foot rear kitchen. And this thing is amazing. It's basically a fancy diesel pusher without the diesel. But this is just gonna be a fun video. I, this has got way more features than I could ever cover. You could spend two hours in a video here. I'll link New Horizons website down below and you can check that out. But we're just gonna walk through it as if you were here with me at the show. You start up front, disc brakes, as they're showing you right there, triple axle trailer, all kinds of solar charge controllers. And this is just out of my league right here out of my league and look how everything is is wrapped and everything's nice and neat you know the, the big manufacturers they get hassled for having a bird's nest not here man not here so if you're like me this is probably the most impressive thing about this unit uh this is this is awesome i love it if they if they take time here they take time in other places hey guys hey this is your new unit isn't it oh come on now Oh, I don't think Grand Design has anything like this. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is way out of my league right here. Come back on this side. You can see this is going to be a bedroom slide. You'll see that in just a second. The massive, massive basement here. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to worry about flipping it up. But there's some batteries. Here is your... All of this comes included, guys. It's already piped in for you but look how everything's nice and neat this is fascinating to me yes we will definitely go inside in a minute but uh, if you're like me you appreciate that kind of stuff Truma on board that's a cool water system hot water system that's become very popular in the higher end units and this is certainly qualifies as a higher end unit nice big slide here triple axles like I said disc brakes again we're not going to have time to go over everything. I'll link it in the description box below if you want to get more into the weeds. What's here? Let's see. Oh, just some nice storage. Okay. Very good. The inside of this thing is stunning. So backside, you got a similar rear to a diesel pusher, a big motorhome, big fiberglass backside, molded fiberglass. Sun's whooping me. Two big huge awnings here in the front, as you can see. I'm just gonna keep this thing going. Again, you know our videos, they're very informal. Just showing you around as if you were here with me. Now, this is where this thing is crazy. Look at the interior of this unit. Just absolutely stunning interior. Tall, tall ceilings. All right, where do we start? Let's start, let's go clockwise for once. I don't know what this is. I haven't opened this door yet. Matter of fact, I was so, that's a coat closet. Okay, very good. That's a huge coat closet. Backlit, nice ambiance when it's closed. You got your dinette here. Now this is all, there's no particle board in here, guys. There's not. That's not how they roll at New Horizons, for sure. Get your lighting up top. I mean, you talk about tall slides. I'm, I'm 6'1". That's just gonna be at least a seven, seven and a half foot slide. So yeah, that's, that's crazy. I just walked another unit that said tall slides, but there was only a six foot, maybe as tall as this one. Wine cooler, that's your little wine bar right here, or a coffee bar. Bosch fridge. All right, let's see what we got here. This is to lock and unlock. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice rollout pantry. And I'm telling you guys, when I'm pulling on that handle, you can feel how substantial this is. It's very, very nice. Then that goes in and then a lock, just like a you would in a motorhome. And this is wood, guys. This is not, this is the real deal. A little dishwasher down here. 
or ice maker. What is that? Dishwasher. Yeah. I thought it was a dishwasher. Then ice maker came to mind as well. Tall, tall walls. Just a beautiful, beautiful unit, man. Look at the sink. Black sink. Pretty black sink. The lighting is really good. Got the back lighting up there above the cabinets. It's so wide open. I mean, look at this. That's crazy. That's crazy. Again, got some info here. I'll be linking it in the description box below. So this is a massive, <laughs> massive chair here. And you can fit two people in there for sure. And I, I kind of like how this is open over here. You just got a lot of space. You've already got your sound system here. There's your subwoofer. These got uh, USB chargers. Yep, you got your little built-in USBs. They're probably heated, I would bet. Good looking balances. This is hilarious. That is funny. Who agrees? Of course I don't agree, of course not. My mother-in-law watches these videos sometimes. <laughs> gets a little fireplace that also puts out the heat. Big, big TV. It's probably 65 inch TV. You get some nice cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling. There's all your... I love this. I love real switches. They don't hardly ever fail. I love real switches. Thank you for that. I'm a simpleton, but a lot of times a simpleton works. Got your lighting over here for your steps. Going to this bathroom. She's got you like a Corian type countertop there. They're not worried about weight in these things, guys. That is the last thing they're worried about. They're worried about putting in the nicest stuff they can, and then it's your problem whether or not you can tow it. Nice backsplash. Nice big, big storage here. Very nice. Mowing faucets, residential stuff, big shower, very big shower. Sorry, that's my backpack. There's your potty. And nice little storage here. Let's keep going into the bedroom. Still with the all wood cabinetry. Like when I'm talking in here, it sounds like a sound studio. You know, some of these units, they sound a little bit hollow. Not this, I mean, this is, this is the real deal. It's also $300,000, you know. Good with the bad. Got your washer dryer prep here. Sorry, it's not prepped. Of course, this already has a washer and dryer in it. I don't know why I said that. It's insulting. Splendid's, people rave about their Splendid washers and dryers. So they've already went with the best in that regard, or one of the best. A semi, no, nah, not walk-in closet, but a very nice closet. Then you got your queen size bed. I'm sure a king would fit here as well. Nice looking backsplash. I kind of like the backsplash here. The window can get, and the fixtures to move the window can get a little bit annoying sometimes right at the head of the bed. So that's not really a bad idea in my opinion. But you got your little bookshelves right there. I'm sorry, your little cabinetry right here on the sides. And then over here, you've got some more storage for odds and ends. What is this? Oh, very, oh, a laundry hamper, a cedar lined laundry hamper. So besides the wiring and the beautiness of the wiring, this is my favorite feature, cedar lined laundry hamper. That's awesome. All right, guys, there you go. New Horizons 39 foot summit rear kitchen. And man, this is a real beauty. No expense spared, no weight savings. They just did it right, and I love it. All right, guys, there you go. The 39 Summit Rear Kitchen from New Horizons. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Let me know. What would you do different? What did you really like? My two favorites were the uh, how neat the wiring was and the cedar-lined uh, laundry hamper. So I hope you guys are good. Hey, thank you guys so much. Over 70,000 subscribers. And that's a thanks to you guys. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys are having safe travels. See ya.